It was the 16th week of the war in Ukraine. But you and the terrorists went to LA without shame. While Severo Donetsk was about to be seized. Big Tony wanted to make sure his masters were pleased. On Zaporizhia, the IAEA gave the occupation ground cover. Typical of the UN, because Guterres is a dictator lover. On countries ranging from China to Cameroon. If anyone cared, the UN would dissolve soon. The Security Council got five new members. When they enter, the Donbass could be only embers. Fat Tony reduced to bragging for deals about food. While in the DRC, his soldiers were getting more than loot. The UN is failing on Ukraine. And it's not just the veto. It's that big boss Tony Guterres. It's been five years calling Putin Papacito. Sorry, Matthew Russell, the Inner City Press. We're here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We cover the courthouse, but we also cover Ukraine. And I can say, as we are now in the 16th week of the conflict, that the UN's performance has become ever more desultory. Initially, Antonio Guterres said it, Russia wouldn't invade. Then he said, don't call it an invasion. Then he scrambled and tried to, tried to make himself relevant. Now, ooh, ooh, ooh. He went to the summit of the Americas in, in Los Angeles. He flew all the way across for have, to have a dinner and go to a, a, let's put it this way. My focus will be this. Anthony Blinken and Guterres both talked about freedom of the press there while banning inner city press, which investigates and covers the United Nations in the UN. So it's a bunch of hypocrisy, a bunch of virtue signaling, a bunch of wasted air miles, a bunch of destroyed, destroyed climate. And wither Ukraine, where's that headed? You tell me. The circus has moved on. Antonio Guterres, circus master, has moved on to more lucrative fields. To be continued.